Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing our monthly Q&A and this time is going to be the monthly Q&A for the month of April. How many times am I gonna say month in a sentence? I asked you guys to ask me some questions in this photo right here. If I didn't answer your question, I probably answered it before or I ran out of time. So you can either wait until the next Q&A and answer or direct message me or just comment down below or email or something and I'll try my best to get back to you. And if you didn't get to ask a question, don't worry. I'm doing one of these every single month so you'll have an opportunity to ask every month. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? What my high school life was like and is college how I envisioned it to be. I don't know, there's like a lot of things that I would have done again in my high school life. Like I tried to do a lot of extracurriculars, a lot of sports, and I did get to do that throughout my four years, but I feel like I spread myself really thin and I didn't really pick one thing to commit to. Like in retrospect, I wish I had chosen one sport or like one group or activity or something to do for all four years. Instead, like the first two years of high school, I did swim and I did Polynesian club. And then I threw in like um, leadership slash USB for like the middle of my high school career. Then the end of my high school career, I chose a totally different sport. And like, there were so many different things that I wish I could have done that I just committed to and just did. But I, you know, I didn't. And life goes on. I wouldn't be the same person that I am today if I didn't do those things. Um, college is honestly i never envisioned college to be anything i went into college with no expectations and i feel like i'm getting less of the college experience that most people would get you know like sports and sororities and partying and all that stuff but you know what like i'm happy doing what i'm doing right now it's not the same college experience that most college kids would get i totally understand that but yeah so there we go. Did you ever in the past look at veganism and think that it wasn't a good slash healthy lifestyle? Um, I did look at veganism and actually the first time that I tried out veganism, I used it as a cover up in my eating disorder to like eat less food. Um, but after that whole thing, I was like, oh my gosh, veganism is so unhealthy. It's basically an eating disorder. I don't know how people can do this. And then a couple years later, here I am today. Um, where do you want to live in the future? I want to live everywhere in the future. I really wanna be traveling everywhere, doing work everywhere, and I think that the world is way too big for us to be staying in one spot our entire lives. I think it's meant to be explored by humans, especially with the technology and the resources that we have today. I feel like everybody should go travel, but I mean, I want to go and travel and um, live everywhere. I don't want to stay rooted in one spot. Staying rooted in one spot is a possibility, but for now, I envision myself working around the world and moving and doing different places and traveling everywhere. And um, it just makes me excited thinking about the future. How long have you been vegan and what's your number one vegan recipe? I've been vegan for a little bit over a year and my number one vegan recipe has to be nice cream because I'm fucking obsessed with that shit. And also I really love um, potato fries and also rice and beans. It's like the typical vegan thing, but like it's my go-to. And do you ever want to be as big as maybe Freely or Fully Rock Christina so you can spread the vegan message? Um, I want to be as big as I can get. I don't really want to compare myself with anybody else. I honestly don't think that I would ever get to the point that Freely and Fully Rock Christina are at just because social media is their main focus in life and that's their career. Whereas social media is like a side job for me. My career is going to be more like um, in the medical field and professional not to say that YouTube isn't professional But I mean like it's a totally different realm and while I do think that it would be awesome to get as big as freely and fully rock Christina Like I don't think that I would be able to put as much time and focus into social media because of the other things that I want to do with my life And I am 100% okay with that. Did you ever have digestive issues and what things helped you overcome them? I never had digestive issues how to make instant pot meals on the stove like high carb Hannah's chili she actually asked instructions on the pages where she has the recipes on her raw till whenever website about like if you don't have instant pot you can use a large pot and just put on the stove top and simmer and stuff like that so she has those available how do you save money on produce I go to a wholesale like fruit market but also saving money on produce you could just buy a bunch of fruit in bulk I buy a box of bananas 
in bulk. That saves a lot of money because bananas make up a bunch of my meals. Also, potatoes and rice and beans are like the cheapest things you can buy. And then you just have to buy some of the greens. You don't have to go crazy on only eating green leafy vegetables and only eating organic fruits if you can't afford it. But the most important thing to do is just make sure that you are eating some, like, don't let the fact that you can't get organic stop you from getting conventional fruits and vegetables if that's cheaper and more affordable and realistic for you. The point here is to eat and have as much fruits and vegetables as possible and it is totally possible to affordably eat a plant-based diet. If greens like kale and collards and lettuce are way too expensive for you, then you might want to think about growing your own. I have a bunch of friends who grow their own greens in their backyard and they save so much money for it. Literally, it's free produce so they would be saving like 10 to 15 dollars a week what my view is on fat protein and carbs which is the most important that we should eat up and which should we uh, avoid i think fat protein and carbs are all very essential to our living and we should be eating all three macronutrients for optimal health obviously the most important macronutrient are carbs but that being said we shouldn't only eat carbs and not eat fat and protein because those are essential too but um, I don't think we should avoid any either. Um, I think we should just eat them in whole plant-based forms and as long as we're eating whole plant-based foods, we'll get the macronutrients that we need. We don't need to calculate it. We aren't robots. Our bodies aren't like calculated to the T. Let's just eat plant whole plant-based foods and not worry about Am I eating too much lettuce, too much fiber, too much protein, too much fat? Just eat what you want, what makes you feel good. Um, and go with it from there. Do you ever think about starting your own garden? Hell yeah! Of course I think about starting my own garden. I would love to have my own garden like I just mentioned. It would save so much money. You know where the food is coming from. It's organic and it's just really really fun to watch things grow right in front of you. I love to sprout because it's like having your own garden in a city and I just love watching the progress of like life unfolding every single day and it's so cool. Do you have a favorite vegan junk food or baked good? I do actually and it's right here. Well at the moment right now <laughs> it's this kettle corn because kettle corn is so bomb and this is a American farmer all natural kettle popcorn. It really doesn't matter what brand as long as it's vegan and as long as it like is freaking delicious then I love Kettle corn. Kettle corn is my weakness. Have you ever considered becoming raw foodist or raw vegan? I have considered being like trying out raw veganism and I actually like went a whole month last year um, of being raw vegan and it was super cool but honestly I just love starches like that's what works for me. I love eating a combination of raw food and cooked food and I'm just going to do that. I don't think it would be like um, beneficial or like necessary for me. I would be raw vegan if I really had a disease that I needed to heal or there was something up with my body that I know raw vegan diet could help. But other than that, if I don't need to be eating only a raw vegan diet, I won't. How do I deal with hearing misinformation about a healthy diet while in class? And um, do I plan on working veganism into my career? And do I plan to only promote a plant-based diet to my future patients? Um, so in school and class, I just go in with the intention of like getting my degree and not like not exactly learning too much about nutrition tips and stuff. When I hear misinformation or stuff that can be easily refuted with peer-reviewed like journal science and stuff, I do the like in one ear out the other type of thing. I just keep reminding myself like, I look, I'm just here for a piece of paper so I can go and teach other people about like nutrition. Fundam like the fundamental science is really important, but about like the recommendations and what is a uh, healthy diet, I would probably just take with a grain of salt. I listen to what they have to say and I remember it so I could take a test so I could get a good grade and then I just do whatever the fuck I want later, you know? Like that's my whole entire life. I just listen to what people have to say, nod, agree, and then do whatever I was gonna do in the first place. I do plan on, at every moment, advocating a plant-based diet, but I'm not going to tell my patients, like, you can only eat a plant-based diet or I won't help you because that's not realistic in the world. Um, I will definitely advocate it every single chance I get and try to encourage people to eat more fruits and vegetables and try to reduce their consumption of meat and dairy products. But at the end of the day, it's their choice and I can't really shove anything down anyone's throat. I can only influence them as best as possible. And yeah.
do a body update and share a bit about why you changed from raw till four to more starch based. Okay, so my body is like the same as the last time you saw it. Literally, it looks the same. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was more starch based, but now I'm eating more bananas and eating more like raw till four ish. Uh, I just do whatever I feel like, you know, sometimes I have oatmeal in the morning and sometimes I don't Sometimes I have potatoes in the middle of the day. Sometimes I don't literally like it's nothing to it for me I think raw till four is way better for athletics as I'm getting more into like cycling and um, Exercising a bit more. I feel better on raw till four I feel like that's where I have like a lot of energy to you know move around and it just honestly tastes <laughs> really good and the warmer months do provide a lot more fruit, which I really like and I love fruit. I honestly started veganism um, eating a more raw till four based lifestyle and it has honestly worked best for me. So, yeah. Does that answer your question? Is yoga the only form of exercise you do now? No, yoga is not the only form of exercise I do now. And if you guys want to know what I've been doing, check out my last video or the one before that or something. It's one of my recent videos. How do you address religious people who say that animals were put here by God for us to eat? First of all, they don't really know and we don't really know what God intended for us to do with the animals in the first place. It's really interesting because me and my roommate were just talking about this. In the very beginning of time, there was Adam and Eve. There was no murder. They didn't kill any animals and they ate fruits and vegetables for their sustenance and I truly believe in that. And um, I just think they had to start eating meat when they were kicked out of the Garden of Eden because they didn't have the fruits and vegetables and starches available to them like when they were in the Garden of Eden. And yeah, someone's gonna say like, well, Jesus ate fish because my mom always says that shit all the time. But I'm like, look, if Jesus came on the earth today and he saw what the slaughterhouses looked like now and he saw how people were stripping the skin off animals today and if he saw the way that our oceans were being treated and polluted and stripped of its wildlife, do you think that he would really approve of that? I don't know. I want to say that he wouldn't approve of what's happening and what we're doing to animals today. So that's just my main argument. But religion is a really, really touchy topic. So I don't really try to get into it so much with them. What will your new exercise routine consist of now that you have your period back? I've really been getting into cycling. I'm actually starting to love it. So yeah. What are your favorite pre prepackaged vegan snacks? I don't really eat a lot of prepackaged vegan snacks. I really like to just eat fresh fruits and vegetables and starches whenever possible. Dream job. My dream job would be like a super awesome cardio surgeon. That'd be awesome. Is there a vegan food that you'll never get tired of? Yes, nice cream. Do you ever get stressed by your workload for school? If you do, how do you manage it? I do get stressed by my workload for school and I just keep telling myself like my grades don't define who I am. I'm doing the best I can. I'm just gonna do whatever I can. I just think about like the worst case scenario and I think like, well, if anything, I'd probably just get like a C and I could pass. I could pass. <laughs> um, if you could experience any vegan YouTuber's life, who would you be and why? I would be Apples and Amanda's because that is me. What is your nationality? I'm Filipino. Do you struggle with procrastinating schoolwork? If yes, how do you overcome it? Despite popular belief, I do struggle with procrastination and to get over it, I write a to-do checklist thing and I write everything that I need to do and I promise myself that if I finish everything that I need to do, I can just play around and mess around and stuff and that has really worked for me this semester. How do you feel about teens coming into the vegan lifestyle? I think it's awesome. More teens, the better. We are the future of the world. When trying to get your period back, you were doing yoga. What kind of yoga was it? Was it mainly stretching or did you more do did you do more of a vinyasa kind of practice? I did vinyasa yoga and some hatha. How do you deal with friends leaving you because of your lifestyle? If you don't want to be my friend because I'm vegan and I want to live a healthy and abundant lifestyle, then I don't want to be your friend because you don't want to be my friend because of that. How long do you do yoga and how often in the week? I do yoga for like 30 minutes to an hour, depends on how I'm feeling, and I probably do it a couple times a week. Like before, I used to do every single day, but now I'm doing it more like two to three times a week. Still pretty good. 
How do you keep calm when people tell you things like they could never live without meat and that as a vegan you miss out on so much? I was once like that and I used to say like, oh, I'll never go vegan. Like, I don't know how vegans do it. Like, I can't be vegan. And um, I just give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, obviously they don't know the reality of it and they're not open to learning that or integrating that into their life. So I just have to be patient and understand that everyone is on their own journey and being annoyed by them and like getting defensive and trying to force them into a lifestyle that they're not ready for is definitely not effective. So yeah, I just like have to be patient and like bite my tongue and understand that everyone's doing their own thing in their life. How do you stay so positive, especially when non-vegans are trying to annoy you? Well, there we go. I just answered that, so it's like the same answer. Um, how do you manage YouTube, social media, and school? Are you taking a full load of classes? I am taking a full load of classes, and honestly, it's just prioritizing the things that I want to do and making a to-do list. I think to-do lists are like the most effective way to be productive. Obviously, if I can't fit in a YouTube video then because I have to study, then studying always comes first. But I always make time to do the things that I want to do because those are the things that I really want to do. Like, if there's something that you really want, then you'll make it happen. So, this is me making it happen. I'm not thin by any means, but I recently lost my period and haven't had it for four months. I did lose weight, but all the, lo the weight I lost, I regained within a month, yet no, no period. What do you recommend? I recommend just doing what you're doing. Try to cut down on the exercise and the stress that you put onto your body and try to get a lot of sleep and again incorporate more fats and calories into your diet because all of the things that I just mentioned all play a role and if you just stay patient and persistent with it, it'll come back. I was not like super skinny when I first started out but I ended up gaining weight and that's what my body needed to get my period back and I'm totally okay with that. So just be patient. For me, it took like five months, no exercise, eating all the food, and uh, I finally got it back. Do you supplement? I do. I take B12. I probably should be taking vitamin D, but for now, I just take vitamin B12. Would you take an experience on food combining? Uh, I never really had problems with food combining. It was more like certain foods just don't digest as well and made me like uncomfortable and bloaty. But as for food combining, I probably wouldn't recommend uh, like eating a bunch of rice and like avocados and then going to eat a whole watermelon after. Like that's just common sense. I wouldn't take the food combining rules like too seriously. Experiment for yourself. See what works for you. I regularly eat bananas and like berries together even though that's like a food combining no-no or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But I regularly do eat some foods that aren't supposed to be food combined and I'm fine. So just test it out, see what works for you because what works Are you happy with your body right now? Yes, I'm very happy with my body right now. It's healthy, it's functioning, and um, doesn't look too shabby. What do you do for a living? I don't do anything for a living. I live for a living. I'm a full-time student. Um, my parents are paying for school. They're paying for my apartment. I'm really fortunate to have them do this for me and to have the life that I'm living. So, yeah. Where do you see yourself after 10 years? Probably in medical school. What are some vegan restaurants in near Boston that you recommend? Okay, so take some notes. Life Alive in Cambridge, Whole Heart Provisions in Alston, Mai Tai Vegan Cafe, and Grasshopper Cafe in Alston also. And FOMU in Alston and Jamaica Plains, really good. Do you ever consider getting a certificate for practicing yoga? When I have time and I have the money to do it, I would definitely want to go get my yoga teacher training certificate. Do you shop ethically? Like do you buy from brands which use child laborers, etc.? I used to not um, because I didn't really know about what was going on behind closed doors. Ever since I've watched The True Cost on Netflix, I've made it a point to only shop from ethically sourced clothing or from a thrift store or like used clothes. Um, just mention my name in your Q&A and I swear to God that I'll be the happiest girl alive. Hi, plant-based Claire. <laughs> Do you like starch-based or raw-based more? I like starch 
draw, babe. I like both. I like a combination of both. Any advice for girls trying to get their period back like you do but feel inclined to exercise? What is more important to you? Being in shape now or having strong bones so you can be in shape forever? Are you label free vegan? I'm not label free vegan, I'm just vegan. Label free vegan is like a label itself. I just eat whatever I want. It's primarily going to be high carb. Like, I'm not trying to be a high fat, low carb vegan. And I don't think a lot of whole foods, plant based vegans do try to be like a high fat, low carb vegan because it's like literally impossible to be low carb while you're eating whole plant based foods. I think a lot of people who say that they're label free vegan just say that they're label free vegan because they don't want to like have the stigma of being like primarily 80 10 10 raw till 4 starch solutions because having a lot of expectations placed on yourself is it's like a lot of pressure you know like oh I really 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 want to eat oatmeal but I'm raw till 4 I can't do it like just do whatever you want but make sure you're vegan do you go to college parties or hang out with anyone other than Brandon um, I don't go to college parties. I went to a couple. I wasn't really like impressed and it, honestly, it's just not my scene But I do <laughs> so I don't partake in that but I do um, hang out with people other than Brandon Yeah, I know you can't really tell because he's in all of my vlogs, but I do I do are you happy? I am happy. So, do you miss Filipino cuisine? If so, what is it? Can it be veganized? I I kind of miss Filipino cuisine, but I honestly just miss like my mom's home cooking and sometimes I'll like pass by a smell that reminds me of my mom's home cooking and then I'll miss that. I honestly just miss the childhood moments and the nostalgia and all that kind of stuff, but I was never a really big Filipino food like lover. I just miss things that made my childhood my childhood, like milaga or tinola or adobo or... um. Stuff like that. I really, really, really like kare kare, but like you said, it can be and has been veganized. What should I do if I'm in high school and I have to eat food served at school and the food they give is full of animal products? I'm not a vegan, but I'm getting there. I would honestly just contact them, let them know the whole situation, be completely honest, and if they can't help you with that, ask them if you can at least bring your own food. That way you can eat and focus in school and you have your brain cells be nourished and um, also go by your morals and values. They can't deny you, you know? Like, you have to eat because if not, I feel like that would be some kind of like violation against some kind of code. And also, um, they allow people who have dietary restrictions due to their religion or their allergies to eat different foods. So I feel like they should be open to allowing you to eat vegan at your school. Would you rather not eat bananas or anything with them as an ingredient for six months or not eat oat slash oatmeal for a year? I would rather not eat oat slash oatmeal for a year. I'm sorry, but I like bananas way more than oatmeal. What's your favorite fruit? Mangoes or mamey sapote? Since adding fat to starches to your diet, have you noticed a difference in weight or your body? Yeah, I gained a little bit of weight. It's cool though. What's your favorite vegan clothing brand? Also, what is a vegan food you haven't tried before but you want to? My favorite vegan clothing brand... I don't really have one. I haven't really been exposed to enough vegan clothing brands to pick a favorite, but I like all the vegan clothing brands as long as they're ethically sourced because... They're trying to spread the same message that I'm trying to spread and I support all of them. And a vegan food that I haven't tried before but want to is Ethiopian food. I really, really, really want to try Ethiopian food. What's your favorite savory vegan snack? Um, pretzels. I love soft pretzels. Which of the Ali Kamenova's yoga flows are your favorite? I don't know, I don't remember all of them. I just like play them and see which ones I like, but I don't remember one from like the top of my head. I just, I really like the vinyasa flow ones that are like around 45 to 50 minutes. What's the most exciting thing that happened to you this month? I guess just time going by, wait, getting my period for the second time. And also time going by really fast and like me being so much closer to home. Not physically, but the time to go home is approaching really, really fast and that's super exciting. What tips were the most useful in helping you get your period back and how did you go about doing these? 
And someone else asked what your favorite, what my best tips are for eating disorder recovery. And I'll just lump these two together. And it's basically just like eat more, exercise less, really focus on self-love and go into meditation and yoga, really light yoga. And um, focus on things other than food, hang out with friends, talk to a family member on the phone, write in a journal, read, watch movies, color, draw, go like go for walks and stuff. Just focus on things that make you happy rather than focusing on food and like what makes you sad and all that. Like go out spend spend more time outside in the sun and outside in general. I feel like a lot of people are lacking that. And I honestly felt so much better, not only in my recovery, but when I was trying to get my period back, um, I felt so much better being outside and getting fresh air. There's like really something about being cooped up in a room or inside all day that kind of like irks me and it like gets to me. I would really, really, really recommend buying This Girl Audra's Get Your Period Handbook. Even if you have your period but you're going through an eating disorder or you're going through recovery or you don't have an eating disorder but you're trying to get your period back, it's really, really helpful. I read through it, I took that advice and I got my period back. It totally works. So yeah, check out This Girl Audra's um, Get Your Period Handbook. I'll put the link in the description below. I'm not getting anything from this obviously, I'm only just trying to help you guys. Where did you get the tapestry that's on your room that we see in almost all your videos? So this tapestry right here, I got that on Amazon. I'll try to find the link for it and put it in the description below. Have you gotten your period a second time already? Yes. And how many fats did I eat every day to get my period back? I don't know. I just ate a lot more of it and I didn't really count. I think I ate like half an avocado every day and added more chia and flax seeds and tahini to my foods. I still feel like I was eating high carb, but not necessarily low fat. I was eating like high carb, regular fat. Okay, well, those are all the questions and I feel like I answered most of them. If I didn't answer yours, I have already answered it before. This is a really long Q&A video and um, if there's any questions that you want me to go more in depth with, um, go ahead and tell me in the comments below and I will try to do that if that's something that I feel inclined to do Thank you guys so much for watching if you got through To the end of this video. I know it's already pretty long um, I hope you guys enjoyed please like this video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next time. Bye